And when did you and Miss Franklin separate? November 29, 2016. So between 2013 and 2016, you, your daughter, her two children, and your wife were supported, is that what you're saying, from yes. her business? Yes, Your Honor. From her business? Yes, Your Honor. Now you can sit down. Thank you very much. Let me tell you what you wrote in here. Do you know what you wrote? Yes, Your Honor. Well, just in case. Everybody else should know what you wrote. You said, my father married the defendant in 2012. She was from Canada and trying to get her green card. She wanted to start up her own online business, but couldn't get a loan. That is correct. She asked if I could get her a loan because my father wasn't working at the time. I got approved for a $20,000 loan, and she started a business in both our names. That is such a different story from what your father just told me. The story that you swore to in your complaint. Yes, Your Honor. Now, so would you say your father was lying to me, or you were? Uh, my father's pretty much not telling exactly how it went. So what you're saying is your father was lying to me. That is correct. Is that what you're saying? That is correct. Okay. Let's see what your father was lying about. Did your father get a $20,000 settlement as a result of a car accident? My the answer is either yes, yes. or no. Yes, Your Honor. And that was in 2012 when he gave that money to his wife to start up a business to support them because he was on disability. Is that when you started your business in 2012? Your Honor, I started this business in Canada in 2008. Okay, so it was continued here. Yes. Your father says that the $20,000 loan that the two of you took out was for the move, was for furniture, Actually, because yeah. you're not working. Actually, Your Honor, I have uh, my tax return. I did drive my car to come into Florida. She did not spend any money on me to move here. Just a minute. Everything is... He said she paid money for the move, she paid money for furniture, and she bought supplies in 2013 for a business that was supporting all of you. So now let's go back to your work history. So now you left your job in New York in September of 2014 and went to Florida. Yes, Your Honor. Where did you work in Florida in 2014? Name of the place you worked in Florida. 2014, I was not working because I was pregnant. Then let's go, time. then let's go to 2015. For whom were you working? Now you have two children and living with your father and his wife. Where were you working in 2015? Your Honor, in 2015, I moved out of the house. I went to Fort Lauderdale and I found me a job. When in 2015? June 2015. So January, February, March, April, and May, you lived with your father and his wife, with your two children, and were not working. Sherman asked me to work with her. She Just a second. And were not working. That is correct. And then you left the house, according to you, in June, moved to Fort Lauderdale. Yes. Where were you working? Teleperformance, Your Honor. How long did you work there? For one year. And what happened to that job? My father and Sherman consist me to return back to help her with the business. So you were getting along with her because the business was flourishing. Now, just for my own information, during the time that you were in Fort Lauderdale, Yes. Did your father send your father send you any money? No, Your Honor. Now, this twenty thousand dollar loan that was taken out by you and your father. Yes, Your Honor. For the reasons that I ascribe to what your father told me, not you. How much of that loan did your stepmother pay back? She paid eleven thousand. And we're going to go back to your statement, Mr. Franklin. Step up for a moment, please. It would be a fair statement that for a substantial part of the time that your daughter and her two children were living with you and your wife, that your daughter and two children were supported, and you, were supported through her online business. Yes, Your Honor. Perfect.